All right, guys, welcome back. So today, what I want to do is do a little bit of a speculation video going over who could be coming next towards Series and Idol Adventure. Now, we do have some hints and teases, and I guess even some uh, predictions we're going to go through in today's video. So before the video starts, guys, let me know in the comments down below who you want to see come to the game. Now, obviously, I'm assuming most of you are going to see Eskinor, which... You know, fair enough, right? But uh, passing myself, I'm really looking forward to his derriere. So I uh, cannot wait to see her in game. All right, so with the new gopher, we got basically two episodes from the anime. We've got episode one and also episode two of season two, which obviously you get to fight gopher. So that's probably a reason why they got to add gopher into the game. So what we can kind of do is go through each of the anime episodes to see who's important and to see who got shown in the episodes to see when they'll get added towards the game. Now, there's not a full concrete proof on why we're going to get characters because I do think characters will likely come out earlier than what they should come out because well we've already gotten a lot of this into characters like if they're gonna add characters when they appear in the story mode then we wouldn't have gotten frowjin we wouldn't have gotten any of the commandments we wouldn't have gotten you know denzel and half the characters we've gotten on screen already so it's not a one-to-one -one indication we're gonna get character when they appear in story mode but it's a good indication about hey when we could see them so uh what i've done is gone through yeah all the episodes in season two i guess to see when characters could appear and i guess we'll talk about some other stuff too so Let's start off with the next character coming towards the game, and uh, that is most likely going to be Merlin. Now, it's very apparent that they're probably going to be completing the seven deadly sins, especially some of the sins that don't have playable characters in game, like obviously Legendary Lost Vein, or, you know, a Legendary Mediolus, a Legendary Gopher, a Legendary Merlin, and also Escanor. So, you know, before we go through any speculation about like when they show up in story mode and all the other hints, I would have predicted Gopher, Merlin, Escanor anyway, right? However, there's one big problem, and that is a Deanna is missing from this list because yes, they still need to add a Deanna to the game. So I'll talk about her in a second. But uh, if you look at this screenshot on the screen now, this is posted on the actual Seventy Sins or I guess the Netmarble Twitter account, which actually showcases Eskinor's artwork and his little chibi form. And also as well, in some artwork and trailers, they showcase Merlin, Gopher, and also Eskinor, and also a new Deanne who we currently do not have playable in game. So I think with that fact alone, it's very obvious that they're probably going to add the Sins first. But the big question is, what is the order going to be? Are they going to save Eskinor for the final Sin character? And that means we get another Deanne in between? Well, I think I have the prediction. So if you look on screen now, you can see they post a little bit of a teaser of the sins playing rock paper scissors and this actually in fact could be the order release and to be fair once again the order release i would have done personally and would have also predicted but you can see we got go far and they are playing rock paper scissors okay so i do think i might be reading too much into this because i think this literally could be nothing but even still you can see the order like Gopher beats Merlin, Merlin beats Escanor. So the order might literally just be, you know, Gopher, Merlin, Escanor. Could be really too much into that because I don't think they drew their hands differently. I think I do think they're just doing that pose anyway. And it just happened to be a good coincidence. But I do think the fact they've shown these three characters is a good indication that they're probably coming next. So I do think the next character will be a Merlin, and I do think the next character afterwards will be an Escanor. Okay, so that's kind of all we have right now in terms of, like, you know, characters shown on Twitter. Uh, but what we can do is go through each of the episodes to see who gets shown every, you know, chapter or every episode, and uh, try and predict who's coming next. So I do assume we're going to get two episodes per character release. So in uh, two weeks' time, when we do get Merlin, we're going to get episode three and four, which if you look at what that content is all about, is actually about Lost Fane and also Galland. So it does mean from episode three to four there's no real standout character other than lost fame medios who's already in game so once again they're already adding characters earlier than what they should have if they were obviously adding characters based on when they appear in story mode so i do think that's the perfect time to add merlin especially when at least in this chapter this episode the reason why medios got lost fame was because of merlin so at least in this episode merlin's got some presence if anything and then moving on towards episode 5 and 6. Well, there's um two things here. We have one giant Deanne, which is when she gets a new outfit. Which, once again, could be a reason why we get that Deanne we see in the trailer. And that could be, you know, the sixth sin in the Codex. And I guess them saving Escanor for the final sin does make a bit of sense. But you also speak about Escanor during this chapter or during these episodes. Where they do say, hey, let's find Escanor. So, the fact that Escanor does get mentioned and... 
you know, let's be honest, they do need to add Escanor very early in the game to get people to spend a bit of money. I do think this is when they are going to add Escanor. And the reason why I'm not saying Deanne, because, well, episodes 7 and 8 is actually all about Deanne. If you remember the anime, Deanne loses her memory where she starts going towards Matrona and she starts, you know, exploring the giant race a little bit. So the fact that those two episodes are all about Deanne, that's way more of a better reason to add Deanne towards the game. So, yeah, I do think the next order will, in fact, be Merlin, Escanor, then a new survey since Deanne. And yeah, those are the ones I am definitely confident about. But then we go later on and this way it gets a bit more tricky because we start to see characters that well might not be playable in game and also have already been added towards the game so it gets a bit more tricky here so episode 9 to 10 there's two standout characters one is Savago, which is bond's stepdad basically or adopted father does he deserve to be playable Probably not, and he doesn't even deserve to be a legendary character, but I guess one character that does appear in this episode is Demon Mediodas, or at least his berserk form. Now, granted, we've kind of already passed that point in the story mode where he does go berserk, and this is a character I think people on Seven Sins Grand Cross have been waiting a long time for, and we still haven't gotten the game. So it's not a... um clear-cut answer that he's gonna be playable but what i will say is though he is playable in story mode in the game at least in obviously grand cross uh but i do feel like having a demon mediodas whether it's this demon mediodas on screen or one from seven sins grand cross like the you know blue or red demon mediodas i do think this will be a probably a good time to add demon mediodas and i know right now we just got lost fame mediodas so it might be a bit too to start thinking about a new mediodas in the game but you gotta remember the bad time we get this character this will literally be like two and a half months or three months from this last mediodas so it wouldn't be the worst idea to do the next chapter update will probably be episode 11 and also 12 and in this chapter update we see two things one evil elaine which to be fair could be a playable character i would actually really love them to do that because once again it wasn't playable in um in grand cross and elaine's not the worst character it's just you know they probably could do a bit better right so yeah evil elaine and there's one other character in here and i'm not too sure i feel it was one but hawk now, you might think Wild Hawk replayable. Well, if we look at the trailer, which I didn't purposely mention at the start of the video, you do get to see Hawk as a playable character, like a little bit. So he could very well be a legendary Hawk. And I do think in this actual chapter, where he does transform for the first time, we get to see a demon form. So uh, it's very possible he could do like uh, a standard Hawk where he does transform into attack a little bit. But the only reason why I'm not so confident on a new Hawk is just because in Grand Cross, Hawk and Wild, you know, the animal characters, have traditionally been free characters you get for free. So it's... um very possible he might just save hawk for like a free character in the future so i'm gonna go with elaine for this one and then we get towards episode 13 and 14 which is literally all about escanor who should by this point should already be in game like so i doubt they're gonna wait that long to get escanor in the game would be way too much right so since escanor is already in the game at this point then that, that does mean these two episodes well they can really add anyone so what i'm going to suggest right now is collaboration so i do think it's very much possible that we will see clubs in the game because one grand cross loves doing them net marble loves doing them and seven nights adventure the game that's very similar towards this one owned by net marble also does collaborations i could make my own video about it but more gogo -Go or gogo -Go plays on his second channel i'll leave a link in the description towards his video he made a video talking about it so if you want to watch that video then i do recommend going to check out his channel and watch his video because because he basically talked about the same thing I do. Uh, but he does say he doesn't want to see an AOT collaboration. I would really love an AOT collaboration in game. Because seeing like Ty and Aaron run around in my chibi form. Would actually look pretty cool. So I wouldn't mind it. See so, yeah, I do think around that time. A few months into the game. We uh, could see a collaboration. And then honestly from episode 14 into episode 20. There's not that much it can really do. And I guess if anything. It kind of leads up towards the final fight with Meriodas. Where he does use revenge counter. And obviously uses or versus the 10 commandments right. So. I do think from episode you know 13 to episode 20 they most likely will be starting to add the commandments in because I do think after the seven day sins we should start to see some more commandments and it's very possible you could start to add them you know earlier when I start talking about like do melee and Elaine and Hawk a little bit but I, I do think the release order will go as follow we probably should see dairy every first because our the commandments in game we are missing freedom and that is derriere esterosa and zeldris the reason why is because they're probably the more popular free and they're, one, they're the ones that are going to make probably a lot of money like uh i know personally i'm free to play i mean i might break some my free to play streak a little bit when esterosa comes out uh but i know for a fact i'm definitely probably spending some money on derriere uh but i do feel like derriere will probably release first because at least in terms of the fight we um we do get to see derriere do more before we see esterosa and zeldris so uh it makes sense to get obviously derriere first uh, especially considering that esterosa and 
or just like basically like the core leader and the leader of the commandments, right? And then, uh, yeah, the next character makes sense to get Esterosa since in terms of the fight with obviously Mediodis, uh, he is the one who actually fights and does something. So it makes sense to get Esterosa next. And then the character after that, two weeks later, the final commandment makes sense to get the leader of the commandments, that being, of course, Zeldris. And uh, yeah, that is basically it for the video. Now, obviously, that's mostly covering season two content. Once we start getting the season three, we start to get like maybe new versions of the commandments. We start getting Goddess Elizabeth. That most likely be the first legendary character once again they could always release characters early and i do suspect them because with the way you see how they handle characters in the game but uh we're not entirely too sure if they're going to do like seasonal characters in this game because we know grand cross the reason why they were to able to go a lot slower was because they did like you know two versions of monspy two versions of galans you know like 17 versions of the anon swimsuits and different characters and different moments in the anime and different memes it's very possible that idols could do that too but i do think they'll probably speed run a much faster towards the story mode than they would in grand cross so we will start to see you know the end characters a lot sooner than we would like how we saw in grand cross for example and i do feel like they'll fill out some of the slots with maybe some different version of characters we will start to see some more collaboration and then hey i know it's too soon to talk about it but for nights apocalypse we have we've barely gotten it in grand cross but i'd love to see it in obviously uh Ido as well so uh yeah guys that is gonna wrap up the video like i said we should get maintenance update or announcement i think on um is it is it monday i think he announced it or sunday and then we'll get them update probably on, like a tuesday or wednesday which will probably bring the new merlin and we'll see straight away so uh yeah guys thank you for watching the video and uh yeah peace.